And our view is that you really can't survive the pool business long term unless you're one of the top five pools. Um, the variation with luck and the, the deep pockets required to, to actually pull this off is, is pretty steep. And uh, it's a tough, it's, a, it's, not, it's actually not a very good business at all, but we view it as super important for the ecosystem that there's a, a trusted, transparent pool for uh, North American miners. I mean, to be honest with you, we've, we've lost millions of dollars getting this pool to this point. Like it's just, it's just the, the way it goes in the pool business. Like Mike said, uh, the mining pool business isn't a great standalone business anymore. And so um, really mining pools are the centerpiece behind all these other services that you can plug into a, a much broader ecosystem. Um, and it, talking about like the institutional uh, angle, uh, a lot of these miners want to partner with a more institutional counterparty. They want that counterparty to be in the same legal jurisdiction. They want proper contracts in place with recourse in case anything goes wrong. They also want some like nuanced things like a business continuity plan or information security policy or external security audits or a SOC report. And so uh, naturally, I think these large uh, miners in North America will look to US-based mining pools to partner with and sell their hash rate to. And so I think we'll we'll start to see a, a trend here um, of North American miners partnering with North American pools. And I know Zach uh, earlier wanted some like uh, I guess like predictions. And so here's my like spicy takes for the Compass live stream only, which is I, th I think by the end of the year North American pools will have uh, 25x a hash worth of hash rate amongst them, and there'll be five uh, North American mining pools in the top 15, and by next year five in the top 10, which will represent about 50% of the network hash rate.